Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's I N man. Jin was a normal, small, Korean boy. He lived in Pusan and like any other boy his age, he attended school. He dreamed of being an idol and had an amazing voice and motivation to back him up. One day, as Jin Jin was walking home from school, he decided to take a rest under the shade of a tree, as the sun had been particularly unforgiving that day. No, a turtle did not beat him in a race, instead. As he let his back hit the tree, an apple fell on his head. Spoiler alert, he did not attempt to explain the laws of gravity, like someone we all know. Instead he ate the apple, cause why not? Something he had failed to notice though, was that he hadn't been leaning against an apple tree, so where did the table come from? That question remains unanswered to this day. However, what he did not fail to notice was how, the following day, his smile became brighter. Unnaturally so, John Jin had always been a cheerful boy whose smile could easily light up the whole room, yet lately, his smile would literally shine. I guess you could say it was shiny. Overwhelmed with fear of the unknown, John Jin tried to smile less, but he couldn't do it for long. Smiling had long since become as normal as breathing to him. The next best solution he could think of was braces, maybe they could dim his smile. 
he figured it was worth a try, so he decided to give them a shot, and surprisingly they worked just as he had hoped. Yet even with the medal, his smile never lost its ability to ignite happiness in others. However, as much as he wished he could John Jin couldn't keep wearing his braces forever, he couldn't avoid it anymore, although the remark stays and his members always dropped about wanting to see his pearly smile without braces made him feel better about the whole ordeal. While sitting in the waiting room, John Jin asked Chan to borrow his phone in scavenged Twitter disguised as at Jin loves Chan Ken, Chan's secret stan account. He always says the username was a typo. Why you always lying? The more John Jin reads Stace tweets the more he felt the tiny seed of anticipation inside him grow. As he was scrolling through the app, he came across one particular tweet that managed to eradicate adults that might have lingered. He is going to continue smiling even without his braces. Stays loved his smile, that wasn't going to change. Even if he looked like a flashlight. Though, he couldn't help but find it ironic when people compliment him on his smile, saying it shines even brighter without braces, and that it gave him a fresh, kind of apple charm. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown to him, that light had a power that only served to draw people to him more. Like any other day, I.N. Man had just finished another mission, saving hundreds of lives as he threw an atomic bomb into space, watching it explode from his perch on the moon, too far away to do any damage to any living being. Yet, his satisfaction was short-lived, as he was shocked into alertness when strange creatures jumped out of seemingly nowhere, surrounding him before he could react. It didn't take him long to figure out what he was looking at, anti-stay. It was a very rare and unusual species, their kinds was usually less than pleasant and it seemed like this particular bunch were especially constipated. Yet, I.N. Man didn't miss a beat, breathing in sharply before unleashing his ultimate weapon. His smile. And so the ugly monsters melted away, and I.N. Man flew back to Earth where he was warmly welcomed back. <laughs>